Welcome to Keith Malley. I'm Keith and the girl. Chemda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Smooth. From True TV's Friends of the People, Spike TV's Ink Masters, and TLC's My Big Fat Fabulous Life. She's so giggly. I'm not going to tell you if this is the, the main person from Big Fat Fabulous Life <laughs> or the fat shaming skinny bitch from <laughs> Big Fat Fabulous. But I will tell you this. The person has a burlesque show and calls it Stand Up and Take Your Clothes Off. So guess which one? I'm talking about Karen Feehan. How you doing, Karen? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Woo. Loving here. Woo, 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 woo. And Skinny cunt. KeithandTheGirl.com slash feedback. We can read what you write in. And MJG saying, is this the Karen Feehan, the fat shamer? <laughs> the fat shaming comedian. Karen Feehan is a lot like Sour Patch Kids. She's a little sour at first, but then extra sour. <laughs> <laughs> she might kill you. <laughs> I see Karen on uh, Facebook. And at the time, she wrote, I'm on TV again tonight. It's the bi My Big Fat Fabulous Life reunion special. I'll go over the whole thing. My big... BFF, Big Fraud Friend, <laughs> Whitney Way Thor, <laughs> walked off set because hashtag two tan feehan got a little too real. Watch it on TLC. Here's a picture of me not eating ice cream from a truck. <laughs> and there's an ice cream truck behind it. Is that is that considered a cackle? What is that? What is this <laughs> happening from your face? I know, it is a cackle. I'm a witch. You are a witch. I really think I am. That's why I like you so much. You're yeah. one of my peeps. Yeah, magic. Now, again, we'll go over this, but I see people rating you. Karen Feehan is a cow. <gasps> a oh, that's true. A horrible, horrible cow. Yeah. She's projecting her own bullshit onto Whitney Way, and it's disgusting. Is that what cows do? I, got, I don't know. They're, I didn't know they were that intelligent. They project. Are you projecting milk? <laughs> I lived on a farm. Very passive aggressive cows. <laughs> they were very good at tipping. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> rural jokes. Is this what you people do after church? <laughs> uh, how many uh, episodes of My Big Fatso were you on? <laughs> One episode. One uh, fucking episode? One episode that Hemda watched. Yes. Hemda came to the stand to watch with me, and then they flew me out for the reunion special because I just made such an uplifting impact. <laughs> All this hubbub, <laughs> you were on the show once. Yes. And then what happens with the reunion special? You were too mean. I, well, here's what happened. The producers came to me and they said, Karen, we need you to go a little easier on Whitney this time. Take right. it a little lighter. Even um, though we paid you to do that the first time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I can't technically say that or whatever. Right. Uh, you just showed up at a radio station and gave her a hard time. In North Carolina. I've never been here before. <laughs> it's a, and I'll play this for you. But she's at a... She's, people are giving Karen a hard time. First of all, this is what... You know how I feel about bullies. But this is why I don't care. It's reality TV. That means the opposite. Yeah. If you... So I guess Whitney worked at this radio station. So if you're trying to follow Whitney in your life, then find out what she does as an intern behind the scenes. Why would the camera be on a random... <laughs> a comic guest. Not to mention, why would a woman with three seasons of her own TV show and book deals need to intern anywhere? Right. Um, like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I get, you know, you never think of you those don't things until because, after, yeah. Yeah, because they set it up for you and it's like, you know, the arts, who, who doesn't want to be an intern somewhere? Right. You know, because it's helpful right. somehow. Like, nobody knows how shit works. Right. Okay. How would they know? Yeah. They, you could be on a radio station because you're touring or whatever. Yeah. I got you a one-day internship, <laughs> and we're going to record that, and that'll be a fun little facet. Oh, oh, my God, this comic is talking about Whitney. Turn the camera on her. We didn't even expect it. Oh, we have everything set up already. Good, good. Oh, thank God. Lights, camera, action. All right, this is on the radio station, 95.1. Uh, like you said, Charlotte, North Carolina. Where does your sense of personal accountability? You know that your struggle is more difficult. Shouldn't that make you work that much harder? But isn't it more inspirational to watch somebody be up against the odds and their odds are stacked against them? Yeah, the odds are stacked against you. I'm sorry, but that's life. We'll see. But Put your doing. head down. Work. This is... You shouldn't have brought that music with you. <laughs> it really makes you look like I the devil. just love the Jaws theme song. <laughs> I can't get enough. It's my ringtone. <laughs> oh, I didn't know she was giving this pig a hard time. <laughs> 
mind blowing to me. Right now, the hardest thing for me to do is not to lose weight. The hardest thing for me to do is be comfortable in my skin, in the face of people like you every day. Tipping. That's that's what I tell uh, my wife, by the way. She's like, why don't you go to the gym? I'm like, first of all, the hardest thing to do isn't working out and eating right. The hardest thing is to love me as I am. And your wife says, no, that's harder for me. Right, right. <laughs> Wait, the hardest thing for me to do is be comfortable in my skin, in the face of people like you every day. Typically, we would never let an intern go off on a guest like that. But when TLC pays you, <laughs> you, you let anything go. We would never let an intern. Who the fuck is anybody in yeah, that room? No offense. Right? We, we wouldn't let anyone. <laughs> right. touch, get the, that's why your interns are there. Everyone right. beats up on their interns. <laughs> Hi, Danny. You're associate producer I'm not now. An intern you're not, but you're looking at me like I'm talking about you. Get to know yourself. You've moved up in the world. <laughs> Get to know yourself. I think she yells this at Whitney. Get to know yourself. You're sitting in two chairs. <laughs> Flip side. Here's Karen, who is a relatively unknown comedian, Dick. coming in. Wow. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He's the one who asked you to be there. I know. Now he's like, but then again, we can't help it because here's Karen. But Maybe. this is me talking, and I'm relatively known. Right. right. Mamie. Okay, Mamie. South Carolina, what? What <laughs> What kind of name is Mamie? <laughs> well, my name's Hamda, and yours is Karen, spelled very funny. I know, but it sounds like Mangy. <laughs> Guns blazing. Almost an attack. That's the oh, hardest. Almost an attack. Almost. Where, did, where did it come from? We gave her a gun, but come on. I, I don't like people picking on our interns, but... <laughs> but put a camera on them. <laughs> I've ever done. I can't... I, I don't think you're being 100% honest. Like, aren't you surrounded with people who are like-minded and agree with you and support you? I mean, yeah, but when you look at the big population, it's just... It's the way I that mean, it is. I mean, my thing is, if I were to surround myself with people who are like, oh, well, Karen has a problem, but let's just let her do what she wants to do, and we'll all get on board and watch her drink and fall on her face, and then I'll just... Why wouldn't I continue on that path, you if know? You what would ever make me want to change? Isn't yeah. it important to, like, maybe surround yourself with people who don't always agree with you all yeah, the time? I, mean, I just don't take very kindly to assumptions being made about my weight and my health, and also, why do you... Assumptions. First of all, <laughs> it's not an assumption I can see you. Right. Uh, I'm reading that she weighs 378 pounds. Now, she's short 5'2", but she does look more than that. She's my height. She's at 400 pounds for sure. That looks like 400. How much would that look like? You think she's more than 400? No. No, that's yeah, four. She's yeah. like 400 pounds. Yeah. She's four times the size of me. Oh. Sorry to brag. <laughs> <laughs> but she used me, no joke, as a toothpick. <laughs> I told her she should deadlift me. <laughs> I, have, I have a friend and I have a family, a few family members that have struggled with their weight their whole lives. And do you feel sad for your friends who are a little overweight? Like, do you feel sad for, for Whitney? I feel affected by them. I feel affected by their moods. I feel affected by that? the what? way they treat what me. hundred percent. <laughs> so My, fat people don't treat you well? Yeah, that... they're moody and they're cranky. <laughs> they're mean. Is this real life right now? Yeah. Attitudes like this. Yeah, it's real life. They just give fat people TV shows. <laughs> No, it's not real life, honey. <laughs> I can't believe this went negative on season three. I thought people would just like seeing me fat. But they had, turns out people have opinions. I know. Is exactly what kept me in a darkened apartment ordering pizza because I didn't want to go out into the world because people treated me so bad. And that's now where Karen almost loses it. I, is this for real right now? Did you just say you can't go outside to order pizza because people made fun of you? You have to have the pizza delivered. Not a salad. No. You have to have your... Right. And, and of course, if you have pizza delivered, that means a whole pie. Yeah. I course. mean, I get it. Have you... Has anyone not eaten a whole pie here? Oh, yeah. I used to work in a tanning salon and eat Domino's pizza, those like, yeah. little ones, and then um, like a 40 of Coors Light. And then what, Karen? No, I just I, that was like college. That was like, I didn't barf it. Really? If that's what you're okay, implying. No, no, no. I would eat it. I was like, uh, you know, I was yeah, I was just like super crazy unhealthy. I mean, th think of all those addictions in one: food, alcohol, and then I'd jump in the tanning bed. <laughs> 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 Maybe I would try to bake it off. <laughs> Ordering pizza because I didn't want to go out into the world because people treated me so bad. Now I you exercise you every day. I'm going to show them. Maybe if you had tackled it head on and like done the best you could be and presented your best self, you would you would <laughs> feel more confident. Be. No, because so I told we, you I we, lost. Like, a, these quit doing this hypothetical. I lost 100 pounds. I already did it. 
your hypothetical thing means nothing to me. I did you're, it. You're not there now. It you're doesn't matter because that, I like maybe that's why you're yelling at me because you're no, cranky. And I, was I was talking to my wife the other day. I said, sweetheart, <laughs> ten years ago I worked out regularly. <laughs> Calm down. I relax. I, I, I already proved I can do I it. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's game over for me. I'm pissed. Don't do that. When I lost 100 pounds and I walked out on the sidewalk, people still walked by and called me a fat ass because right. they didn't know okay. where right. I'd come right. from or where right. I'd been. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. Everybody calm down. I don't think this is going to happen. Why are they stopping the right there? Just every, it's getting too much. It's right. Get, it's too getting, hot in the kitchen. It's getting crazy in this. Stupid. Yeah, we thought it'd be fun at first, but it's getting out of control. It's too hot in the kitchen. Whitney's trying to eat this bachelor. This other <laughs> one has an opinion, too, it turns out. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Everybody, calm down. I don't think this is going to happen at the Comedy Zone. So if you're just not listening, Winnie, <laughs> um, we're going to hook you up with tickets at Karen's show. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible prize! I have like five fat jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not slap a skinny bitch on the way out, okay? Yeah, it's okay. We can we can say that. <laughs> 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 All the comments on my Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. You're such an anorexic bitch. Hashtag no body shame. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like, I, I, I like, you're not even behind your own movement. I don't understand. <laughs> Does she really go to the comedy show? Oh, yeah. We got in another uh, heated argument after the show with her, you know, the morbidly obese buddy, buddy. His name's Buddy. <laughs> I didn't know humans were named Buddy. I oh, my was... God. Karen fucking destroyed that dude. <laughs> Destruction. Yeah. I heard an explosion. <laughs> he was a nightmare. Oh. He was just calling me names. He was like, You're a fucking idiot. You're not the listening. The whole bar, she dropped one line. I don't remember what it is. I think Keith is about to wait. She dropped one line. The whole bar was like, Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Stood in the line of fire. <laughs> Do you reference her during the comedy show? Uh, yes. I yeah, did. absolutely. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't instructed to do that. <laughs> right. I did it on my own. All my own accord. I, I can't believe that during this actual comedy show, no. she didn't come to her senses and treat me properly. <laughs> oh, well, where's the men? No menus? No. Okay. No. I don't equate thinness with like ultimate happiness or. I don't either, whatever. but I don't equate obesity with healthiness either. I think that You just said healthiness, but I said happiness. Like, yeah, but that's I knew not even what the same she thing. Meant. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, but I follow words, honey. Well, healthy. healthy and happiness, that's like a thing, right? Yeah, health and happiness. Right, yeah. Hallmark you say that, it. Christmas, something. Right. There's Jesus thought, originally said it. Yeah. There's thoughts and prayers and there's health and happiness. That's right, yeah. that's right. It's like when you get married, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get health and happiness. I'll never know. <laughs> either. I think that You just said yeah. healthiness, but I said happiness. Like, that's not even the same thing. Wow. I realized right. that I had to uncouple happiness and thinness because I was wasting my life. I will not wait to live my life, and I will assert. No joke, three seasons of this? I know. Uh, when, when she's like, I had to uncouple, I'm just picturing, like, what, like two melted cookies? <laughs> <laughs> what did you have to uncouple? Two donuts? I did watch, like, the, the Karen's part of this show really was... The most interesting part, because really the rest of it, I don't know how this person got a show. I know. We're watching her boring family. Clearly, someone threw this party for the cameras. Right. Clear, and it is a sad, sad so party. So sad. Like, it looks like somebody cleared a cafeteria yeah. <laughs> and threw some, like, you know, what are those, t the stupid... Things like that you buy at 99 string cents. Yes. Things, yeah. Like, yeah. And like, then called it a wedding or something. Everyone was sad. I know. It was like her old parents, like, was their birthday or renewing their vows? No or, one like, was got, saying. Like, new inserts yes. in their shoes. I don't know. They did not seem into it at no. all. There was like six people at their party that looked like they didn't know where they were. Right. And they kept, like, the camera angle really tight. Yeah. Because it's like, look at all these people dancing and having a good time. Like, yeah. it looked like people were behind the camera making, like, the smile right, right. sign. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, smile, yeah. we're at a party. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. Yeah. Is this horrible. true? I'm being told that you put, during these conversations, you'd put bacon in your pocket just so her eyes get shifty. Right, well, just so she picked up my scent. <laughs> we didn't want to lose her. But I am a worthy human being. You know what the biggest, the biggest shame we respect. the biggest shame we feel in this room is laughing at Keith's fat jokes. <laughs> that we all just put our head down and lie like, "Fuck, that was funny. Was that funny? Is this okay? Uh, is this shame?" <laughs> I will assert that I am a worthy human being, and that I deserve basic respect. That all right? Calm down. You're gonna break a sweat. It's what fat people want. Somebody who says people that they're know. happier than they're ever they've ever been, you sure cry a lot. <laughs> that was.
I mean, people never that brought out the tuba. That was a good one. <laughs> me like this just attacking me personally like that is so dumb like i would never look at her and make light of her alcoholism or anything like that why so, not <laughs> right go ahead because she already did it she <laughs> m&m'd herself this <laughs> nothing left for me to do she tattooed don't serve me <laughs> on her fucking wrist forever <laughs> and then when you ask her if she's gonna drink again i don't know it's up to you right this, this doesn't stop anybody right <laughs> she it's can on the inside of my arm <laughs> 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 I've always been a crier. Like, I'm just, I'm like, again, I just don't really believe you. I don't really buy what you're but selling. I, but that's well, not, I don't need you to but buy it. That's fine. You, you don't want me to buy it. You don't want me to care. You don't want to have. You don't want to have. Yeah, you don't want to have a go. conversation. I, I, don't you agree to disagree? <laughs> Fuck you. We're get, it's a TV show, idiot. I know. Let's agree to disagree. He's really a bumpkin. <laughs> what we are having a conversation, idiot. This is the thing. And your friend just called me. Idiot. I mean, I mean is that productive conversation? You know, I don't like resorting to name calling all the time, but sometimes when somebody's not hearing you and they're not trying to hear you, that's when you resort you just to kinda, it. <laughs> that's when you, you do know, it. You, get fed I don't, up. you don't. You don't want to resort to it when you got other words. <laughs> when you run out of words, then you resort to bad words. <laughs> And then you're like, pardon my French, and that makes it okay. They're not trying to hear you. You just kind of. You know, you get fed up. You see better as thinner, period. You have tunnel vision. If you didn't know me, you wouldn't know I had PCOS. You wouldn't know I've been thin for more than I've been fat. You wouldn't know I lost 100 pounds on my own. You wouldn't know I had eating disorders. Would you know any of it? And that's the she problem. Nobody knows and when that. when you tell her, listen, I so are we that. even still here? What? I don't understand your role. That is the that best. That was it. Who? I don't understand your role. She looks right at him and goes, who are you? <laughs> He was just, oh, I gotta say something here. Uh, I gotta, well, uh, hey, you're a bitch. What, what is your what, role? What right. you? I don't understand who your role. Who are you? What's your name? You haven't introduced yourself. I never shook your hand. I have no idea who you are. Are you part of an arc? I don't know. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. Are you who a surprise guest? <laughs> right. Are you central casting? Are you somebody I should know? What is your role? Do we have in, the same manager? What is your role in this totally real show that means anything? <laughs> Why are we even still here? I don't understand your role. <laughs> why, why are you still here? I'm yelling at your friend. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're like, I'm sitting down at a table, and they're both leaning over yeah. this, like, you know, I don't know, fence to, like, engage with She's me. She's smoking a cigarette like a cunt. Oh, my God. Like, you can't smoke a cigarette. Karen, me. Okay. like, you can't be more cunty smoking oh, a cigarette. Brutal. What's your problem? <laughs> like, using it for punctuation. <laughs> Like, watch me breathe easy while I smoke. <laughs> she's run, She's literally running around them. <laughs> I thought that her friend Buddy was, like, really passive aggressive. I think that he's essentially enabling her every step of the way. I just think you have a wall up and you're just full of excuses and you can cry and you can say you're happy. I just don't buy it. You're not going to convince but me. But there you go. I like, just don't how, believe how, it. How do I need you That's to good. buy my own life? Like, I'm my on your house. show. <laughs> right, I'm on your show. Right, you have something to do with it. Convince but me. there you go. I like, just don't how, believe how, it. How do I need you That's to good. buy my own life? Like, I mean, I, 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 mean, I, mean, like, I think I it's important it. for people if they're, that are going to look up to you. An 18 year old girl that gets diagnosed with Move it, you own it, you know it. You better let it go. If they're, that are going to look up to you. An 18-year-old girl that gets diagnosed with PCOS and you're the first figure she sees. And she's like... Line! <laughs> oh, Karen. <laughs> oh, well, I'll just say I'm fat and I'm happy and whatever. Who That's cares? That's not what I'm I not do gonna... because fat people can't win up against she people actually, like she you. She actually already made that point, so... You, you did. Like, the there's, circle, there, you can't win. Rocking, and, like, it's know. a fight that I... Usually fight, Let's roll. and you can't, and that's cool. Have a nice night. <laughs> Let's roll, Let's and they go. both just start rolling down the street. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing: somebody yelling at you, "I don't care," right? It's just and crying. It, it is reality. I don't need to... you to care. Then yeah. why are you yelling at me? <laughs> yeah, like I can't imagine going, Karen. Yeah, I am exactly at the weight that I want to be at. Balling. Enjoy it. <laughs> Was, were there things that weren't in the show? Like, hey, Whitney, weigh more. Like, were they like, no, that's too much. Um, I don't remember.
remember. Honestly, I don't remember. I mean, they butchered my set. They really cut it to pieces. Oh, yeah. They, like, hardly don't, don't let me get a joke off. True. But, like, as for, for cutting for this kind of show, it was not bad. Yeah. It's not my big, funny, fabulous yeah. life. No. They didn't destroy it. I understand, like, it, it's your personal work, and I yeah. can't imagine being okay with them touching my shit. Yeah. But... I thought you came up, like, I thought they were just going to be like, fat people are fat, you know, like, <laughs> just kind of cut it. Well, yeah, because they did. They had me, like, come on and, like, tell extra fat jokes <laughs> to an empty room. Because I don't really oh, have. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't really have <laughs> fat jokes. My act, it's not really my thing, you know, but, like, I'm really talented. I can write about anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was, they totally, like, just, like, plucked pieces and, like, mm. put, so, I mean, and that's, and that's why I, what I was saying on the reunion special, they were like, take it easy on her. You were really hard in the episode. Why and, they bring you back if they're saying take it easy? What other way is there? Exactly. Like I what, know. you learned your lesson? Right, I think like, that they were looking for some redemption, like we were going to make up or like something like that. And I really did go in with that mentality. But the first thing out of her mouth was she said I wasn't funny. And I was like, earrings off, fuck you. <laughs> Vaseline. Oh, fuck out of here. <laughs> My hair's already in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Feehan told People Magazine I was contacted and hired by this show. I don't. I didn't seek out Whitney to bully her. That's ridiculous. Well, like you said, you fly to North Carolina. Right. Right. I, it, does, does she intern here? The woman from the fat show? Yeah, because I want to hate someone here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to hate. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, but they also, I think people see that as what comedians do. They come into a room and go, this is stupid. Yeah. That's right. stupid. Yeah, You're yeah. stupid. Yeah. You're fat. <laughs> yeah, and that's why everyone gets a laugh. Yeah. So she says she has PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome. And uh, that could make it uh, tough for people to lose weight, she read, and has it. Um, yeah, but it can also make people lose weight, too. And if you read any article, any literature about that condition, the one main through line is in order to keep it in check, you should maintain a healthy weight by eating right and exercising. Like, if so I'm you eating, don't get diabetes. If I'm eating right and exercising, I don't have time to love myself. <laughs> I have to sit down, do nothing, focus solely on loving myself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> PCOS makes it more difficult for the body to use hormone insulin, which normally helps convert sugars and starches from foods into energy. High insulin levels increase the production of male hormones called androgens. High androgen levels lead to symptoms such as body hair growth. Did you have a lot of body hair? Facial. Acne, irregular periods, and weight gain. So maybe she was on her period. <laughs> because the weight gain is triggered by male hormones, it is typically in the abdomen. That is where men tend to carry weight. So instead of having a pear shape... Women with PCOS have more an apple shape. First of all, she never had an apple in her life. <laughs> right? Uh, here's some uh, messages that you got. Oy vey. Christina Richards Trilo says, I hope you realized you may have just thrown your career down the toilet. Mm -hmm. Many directors, TV network owners, workers, nightclub owners, producers, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> She listed so many. So let's, many. Let's hear what they have to say. I know. I'm like, do you know them? Can you give me their email? They're all thinking the same thing. And what is that, Keith? <laughs> Please. Yeah. The, you have... Uh... Your producers hate this. Right. <laughs> do you know who hired me, Dum Dum? I was on the reunion. I was on one episode. Right. Uh, well, guess what? This show has... Directors, TV owners, <laughs> workers, right, producers. Right. Writers, if you could believe. Well, a lot of them are overweight, and they are not going to take well to your fat shaming routine. It's not cute. It's not funny. Funny, you're smoking cigarettes on national TV when you're telling someone else they are an addict. <laughs> Maybe you should quit. They age you quite fast. That's probably why you already look over 40. Wow. Have fun playing shitty dive bars the rest of your sad, pathetic life. Hey, at least you're skinny. Uh, kiss face with the heart. Uh, Andy says, well, that person had the best day after writing. That. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Karen. Yes. That's so nice of you. <laughs> well said, says Andy. Well said, Christina. What a bitch she is. <laughs> and then they well each, said too. and then they each like the other ones. And well, so they, like, yeah. they well, get a thumbs up support. Well, and they're like loads all over that. <laughs> uh, here's a picture from Keith and the girl. I started, I saw people were looking at pictures of you. Oh. 
Ah. And some of them are connected with Keith and the girls. So just out of the blue, I don't, I didn't know what was happening at first. Yeah, out of the blue, like a, a show that you were on months, if not a, at least a year ago. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's a comment on that episode. Really? And it's like, what the fuck is this? And it's like, fuck Karen Feehan. <laughs> right. Whatever she said is stupid. I'm like, what did she talk about? Like, you... you guys are like, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> what if he do now? Oh, she's drinking again. <laughs> ah, we saw this coming a mile away. You were trouble. Well, always. <laughs> yeah, they sought me out everywhere. My Instagram yeah. is like a minefield. I mean, it's insane. Like pictures where I'm holding my 15 month old niece. You know what I mean? They're what like, are they doing? They're, I know. Like, are you gonna fat shame her? And <laughs> I, I'm like, also, like, tell me what you I should write. You but, should write back. Oh, you see it too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they call it baby fat, but that's where right. we start. <laughs> right. I know what it is. It's the genome. It's the obese genome. Yeah, it's just uh, So it's here's, crazy. A, here's a picture. You have a doll. You're putting uh, the doll's uh, arm in your mouth. Good one. Christina. Is that a Mr. Mixie? Yeah. yeah. Mix, mixie, mixie. Mitsuplex. Christina so says, good. it looks like you are desperate for dick. Somebody please give her a drink and a nasty cigarette with poison. Oh! It's the worst kind of cigarette. It's like a Disney movie. A nasty cigarette with poison. <laughs> right, right. Oh, get a cauldron. Uh, Karen wrote, to everyone asking me, why do I care? You know, why do I care about this fat person? Well, you got me. I apologize. I don't care anymore. Everybody eat heroin and have fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's <laughs> one. Bubble, bubble, toil and travel. Right, right. <laughs> I really liked all the uh, Corella Deville um, things that people were, were tweeting at me. Like, yeah. those so, were cute. Oh, they're real. I was retweeting those all day. One like was like a picture of old Corella Deville, but then some chick found a young Corella Deville where she's like kind of hot, and I was like, profile picture. <laughs> yeah, love it. You got death threats too, right? Oh yes, poison cigarettes and poison but like cigarettes. more direct. One guy said he was going to show up to my show with a gun. Um, Does that scare me. you at all? I probably should. I don't know. It doesn't. But I'm like, I like looked him up. I was like, I mean, this isn't. I, mean, I don't think that should scare you. What was uh, Xerxes was telling me? Ari Shafir. I don't know if you remember this. He got death threats because of this, uh, not reality show, but a prank show he did years ago. Yeah. And so, and some people think that it's real and it's very, very racist. Yeah. So he gets like continuous death threats um, and he will be so brazen about it. He'll be like, okay, I'm going to be right here. This is my coordinates. Wow. Come get me. Wow. And for years he's been saying, come get me. And for years he's been getting serious death threats over this shit. Wow. And, uh... He's still alive and ticking. Of course he is. <laughs> never going anywhere. No, of course. No. <laughs> Live your life. <laughs> uh, Karen, you need to learn that all lives are important and what you're doing is disgusting and a car should run over you filled with poison. <laughs> poison. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people just, and this isn't news, but they just go on Facebook and I must, I, yeah. I don't even have time to think. I must say something yeah. now. This uh, Colin Kaepernick sat down during the national, I don't have time to think. I just know I was raised the flag's important. Yeah. yeah. Send. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th somebody wrote, I saw this today. Uh, they they don't give the NFL doesn't give Colin a hard time for sitting down during the national anthem, but the NFL won't even let. Th th what's disgusting is they won't let the cops put stickers for fallen soldiers on their helmets. What? Yeah. Well, these are decorations for children. <laughs> yeah. I had a sticker book as a kid. Yeah. I scratched and sniffed, you dumb shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ needs to come back and get rid of these people that won't stand for the pledge. Oh my my blue life matters sticker. <laughs> <laughs> now people will care. I have a gun. Sticker, 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 sticker. How about this? We give them, we give them an option. The sticker or the gun. Ooh, Be I'm free. Go on sticker. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> By the way, we all know Francis Scott Key made the Star Spangled Banner. He was racist. We all know. Yep. Not, not only did he have slaves, he was, he was very racist. Well, it not was. Not only. He wrote that right. in the late 1800s. Right. Yeah, and it came out in the early 1900s. That's not a good time for black people. No. Right. Yeah. So he wrote about slaves in. Um, in the song, he's, yeah. he's saying no. Uh, in the third stanza. In one of the, right. In the third uh, verse. Uh, no refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. You know, when you, when you have a good beat, you, you do want to make uh, many verses. But he's saying, you know, if you're the, – the England would say, hey, we're going to free you, slaves, if you join us 
and fight America. And he's saying, fuck you, slaves. Yeah, we're going to catch you. You can't run away from us. We'll kill you, too. There's, yeah. there's what you're, you don't even know that. Let me tell you something. If you're disgusted by Colin Kaepernick, don't cheat. Don't look it up on Wiki. Real quick, what hand do you use uh, to salute? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> What's the difference? What are you saluting? What world are we living in that we need to salute a human being, uh, an object, anything? Just right. do you. And by the way, he's been sitting down every, se- every uh, game so far. You just didn't notice because he wasn't in uniform. It's so fake outrage. You didn't even look it up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of God, real quick, I saw the new uh, Ben Hur movie that's getting terrible reviews. Oh, no. I liked it a lot. Really? Yes. Now, of course, it's a remake. The very first one, even before Charlton Heston, it has a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. And, and it's a silent film. Ben Hur with Charlton Heston, I do remember loving that as a kid, 88%. I never saw it. This brand new one, 27%. And I think it's because, and of course, you know, I, uh, I'm not religious, but I think it's because Jesus is in this movie. And, and those always get low reviews from the critics. Oh, really? Like, at the, as Jesus the... As actual Jesus. Uh, those get low reviews? I think so. I, I don't think critics like God movies. You have in Florida? I don't know. I guess it doesn't even out. There's 49 more states. <laughs> Wait, this is this is uh, critics' reviews or human like critics? Regular critics, human? and then the human, the regular people is like 60 something percent. Oh, and all oh, those movies sound boring. It was How a little boring. The it? Jesus parts were a little boring. Yeah. Uh, the the fuck. I at the end, you know how they had the ASPCA. We make sure no animals were hurt. Yeah. They go. We're gonna be honest. Some horses got hurt. How do you think that fucking happens? Oh. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, they, they, <laughs> mo- I, I thought it was very good. I liked it. Huh. Uh, what did you ask? Oh, how long? Uh, two hours. Yeah. That's two long. hours? Yeah. yeah. You liked it? Yeah, I like. yeah. Were you in a theater? Oh, was that, you know what? Yeah, I was in the theater. Wow. I wasn't too drunk. And <laughs> I was going to say, a li- but like a little drunk. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, no? it doesn't really affect the movie. Mm. No. Nah. It should, shouldn't it? Shouldn't I, that be like a good side effect? It should be, but it, mm. yeah, it's, not, it's I guess it, I guess it could add to it, but it's not, I saw Suicide Squad. I couldn't appreciate that. I was seeing Triple. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. But, but like th- that. Well, three of a bad movie. Yeah. Well, number one movie, Don't Breathe, has an eighty-six percent. I saw this shit show horror movie. <laughs> ben Hur was way better. You're such a contrarian. I really am. I, just, I look at the you percent moved to like Brooklyn. I do the opposite. Grow a beard. I saw an ad for a new movie. It's called uh, Hacksaw Ridge, and it's about the uh, back in the day. I believe World War II. Uh, a doctor joins the military. Uh, but he refuses to fight. Uh, based on a true story, I'm into I'm into this. <laughs> you know, he's being court-martialed. Then they go, okay, you, you want to? You can go. You have to go to war. Don't take a gun. Then fuck you. Who cares? What the shit? And that happens. Then they go from the award-winning director of Braveheart. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. And I'm like, maybe I'm remembering wrong. <laughs> they deliberately didn't say from Mel Gibson, misogynist anti-Semite. They said from the award-winning director of Braveheart. Wow. And then maybe they'll be able to trick us. Well, I love Braveheart. You know, people don't know this stuff. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. It's abnormal that I know it, right? Yeah. Uh, and they'll go and be like, oh, I like that. I like Braveheart and I like this. And then yeah. they'll go, tricked ya. <laughs> Is this why we take the SATs for word associations for later on in life? I know. I'm like, I it would have like, worked on me. Yeah, I feel like they <laughs> use it against us very much a lot. Yeah. From the guy that said, I hope you suck his nigger cock, oh comes a new movie. I will bury you in the flower bushes, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> comes a true story of a young man. There's something in there about kikes, too, right? <laughs> From your only job, sweet tits, Make sure we is, hit it off. is to shut up and blow me. Aww. Now presents a startling new look at the past. That was amazing. Wow, that was. I want to see that movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's me, Mel Gibson. Gotcha. Oh, you tricked me. I think it's called White Girl. <laughs> I've seen previews for that movie. Was that serious? I saw it in my timeline. I thought it was like an onion thing or something. No, I think it's real. <laughs> really? It's like the new kids. Yeah. Oh. 
She just goes There's around. no new kids. <laughs> There's no new kids. We've been looking for a kids uh, movie where yeah. kids rape each other and terrible things happen. Yeah. We don't get it. I think she just gets fucked in every borough. Oh, great. I think that's what it is. I see. I'm like, been there, done that. Right. I didn't know it's a remake. Uh, even <laughs> Staten Island. I like boats. <laughs> Some people say, I want to fuck in every state. She goes, all boroughs, and I'm done. <laughs> That Roosevelt Island counts. <laughs> you, you fuck on Fire Island. Right. <laughs> if you're a chick fucking on Fire Island, you're doing something right. Uh, believe me, there's 10 boroughs. <laughs> Let me go through them. There are 10 boroughs, or I am very angry at a couple guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I knew it was just his mom's house. It's not a borough. It's a cul-de-sac. All right, let me mention this. Blue Apron. Yes. You don't got it. Uh, it's dark. I can't go outside. I have to have my pizza delivered. Listen, <laughs> you you can make your own meals. You and don't feel have good to, about it and feel good about it. That's the key. Feel good about it. Get your chicken without antibiotics. Uh, y'all, that I love biotics. Give them to me. <laughs> you get you have this healthy food delivered to you. <laughs> I, at least it's healthy compared to this other stuff you're eating. I'll tell you that much. Um, they give you. That's what I I feel like it is like to my own body because they they put the kale in there that I might yeah. not buy because I don't know how to use it necessarily. They put um if there's a butter there's there's a pat of butter yeah. you know there's there's all this stuff that normally I would be a little too nervous to buy from the grocery store because I don't know how to use it. They tell you exactly and in my latest Blue Apron box, you know how I told you they have they had get one sheet of paper with six pictures on it and some text under each picture right. to describe the entire meal to you, how to make it start to finish, chopping it, throwing it in the thing, everything. Six panels. This latest one had one with five panels. I made a gourmet meal, five yep. panels with pictures. It's, it's a little tiny picture book where <laughs> I make gourmet shit for everybody. It's, so, it's amazing. Like Hendra says, they give you exactly... Let, let, let's say you need only two ounces of xanthan gum number five. Right. They give, no, <laughs> Never. It's, you recognize every ingredient. That's and, right. It's nice and, and clean. And if you don't, it's things like kale, and you go, that's what kale looks like. <laughs> right. Now I know everything everyone's talking about. Check out this week's menu and get the, your first three meals free. We'll put some pictures on the website that I made. So that you know, like, okay, I'm the king cook, but <laughs> Keith made this. It's a true story. Get three free meals with free shipping. Go to blueapron.com slash K-A-T-G. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. Do not wait. That's blueapron.com slash K-A-T-G. Yeah, we've been using this for a couple of years. I love every time my box comes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> really good. That's their new <laughs> slogan. That's, de that's definitely what somebody said. <laughs> I, I get confused with gender. Oh, I just got to date somebody who has this Blue Apron thing. <laughs> now it's easy. Blueapron.com slash K-A-T-G. And you will be inside Karen within the week. Start dating Karen. <laughs> uh, KeithandTheGirl.com slash VIP. So much stuff is going on there. It's every show we ever did. If you want to hear previous uh, shows with Karen, for example... Also, another episode of Misandry with Marsha that comes out this Friday. Right. Nick Turner just recorded his first episode last night. Dr. Rosa, her pilot episode comes out next week. My name is Keith with Bayron Kagani. We're going to do uh, that's the show with Danny. Just celebrated four year anniversary. That's up right now. And a new Bottoms Up is out. A new What's My Name is out. A new Wrap It Up is out. Everybody in this room has a new episode, and Karen is on every single one of their shows. <laughs> I just have so much to say. <laughs> Here's another thought about fat people. Who's, anybody recording later tonight, too? <laughs> but yeah, Henda has her What's My Name show. That's what started all these spin-off shows. Well, now it's like a reverse What's My Name. Yes. Because Libby is interviewing Hemda about what's going on with this cancer scare. Uh, Craig says, I loved and appreciated this episode. I may have also cried. Sorry. Yeah, right. we're leaving the crying to this What's My Name episode so we could laugh at it here. Right. So uh, we'll talk about the cancer update. In fact, Hennessy is in the room, and uh, I do want to talk to him a bit also. He could not wait to get up. Was that right? Did you see that land where you antsy? <laughs> Huh? No, I've been a little antsy. No, it's not that I, I didn't know I was going to get up, so I think I was more surprised and like, oh, fuck, I got to get up. I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> I missed my call. All right, so Hemda, today you get your actual biopsy. 
No, I got my biopsy last week. That's when you were sending me thoughts and prayers. Remember, that's what that was for. Yeah, I didn't keep thinking. Right, and right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> kept seeing me. There's no thoughts and prayers. Um, so the biopsy, they called me yesterday. I was sending health and happiness. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, you might have gotten one of them. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll take vibes. Um, we'll take good vibes. So last week I got a biopsy. This week I get my results. Yesterday they called and they said, do you want to come in tomorrow or the day after? And I'm like... That's fucking great news. You're not right. in a rush, right? That's awesome. And I was like, we're picking like the next day, right? Because all of a sudden, I didn't want the news. I'm like, no, one more day where here's what I compared it to in my head. I'm like, if you knew you were going to jail, mm. but your sentence, you could either find out on Wednesday or Thursday. Wouldn't you want to find out on Thursday so you can have one more day without mm. knowing, one right? One more day to think about how long your sentence is. But then the sentence becomes permanent. Like it's really happening to you. So I decided on the earlier day, and I went this morning at 10 a.m., and of course they drew more blood. What the fuck? Just use the other one that you took. Right. right. How many does it take? Yeah. This one was good, though. Yeah. Was, and it, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I like to... Um, <laughs> I like to be like, you look like you're going to do a good job. Please don't sting me. I'm, I, I act so nice to these people because all they're doing is shoving needles in me. So right. I'm like, you must be the best at this. Yes, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I never look at it. Anyway, so the doctor comes in. Such a nice doctor. Such a nice doctor. He was a person. He was a person. He was the same person that originally told me the news. Dr. Okay. Patton. Dr. Patton. Really great guy. Of Lenox Hill Hospital yes. on East 77th Street. Tell Dr. him to take good Patton. care of me. Yes. Like Oswald. Yes. So um, what did he say? Now everything is escaping me. But okay. So here's what they're seeing. The biopsy is showing that... Um, there is a thing. They still don't know if it's cancer because what happens is, is there's an entire scale of where it could be. One side is cancer and one side is not. I'm somewhere in the middle where it doesn't even matter if it's cancer or not anymore. This thing has to get out and it's affecting some, you know, some stuff and they're still not certain. I got to get an MRI. They still don't know. They can't tell me what stage it's at. There's four different stages. They're like, we can't tell, you know, how much it's affecting and that is how you can tell what stage it is. Best case scenario, this thing is a standalone and it hasn't, pushed or gotten into my heart but it is pushing on it so if it's separated it hasn't, like you know like whitney will sit on a couch and <laughs> if she's there for too long the fabrics actually yes. go into her pores yes it's they like don't that. know yet yeah. if it has or Thank not <laughs> that's why we have to get an mri yeah so with the mri they're gonna see if there's this thing that basically puts it in a bubble, you know, and they'll see that it's surrounded by that thing. They're going to see if it's thing. separate from the heart and lung or yeah. if it's grown into it at all. Okay. That would be the best case scenario because they can go in and pull it out. If but it if, did not, obviously. If it's not attached. If right. it's attached, then it's a lot more complicated. They have to get a, a cardiovascular person because it's now affecting my the heart. It's on my heart. During Cardiologist? During I don't know any of these words. During surgery in case something happens. Yeah, they're going to have to get... And they already showed it to those guys. You know, They showed it to a couple different doctors. You guys, I'm one in a million. This is a very rare disease. They have not a lot of knowledge about it. I'm going to be put down in the books for how they treat me. It's so strange. A lot of experimental I, shit. They know about this, though. It is it is what we thought it might be. It is your thymus. Um, it didn't degenerate or go away when you were 18 like most of our words do. It kept so this is something. Cells. This is something you're born with as a child to protect you, mm -hmm. and yours didn't go away. Yeah, because my parents were overprotective and right. this is what happens to your children. <laughs> they feel like they need more protection, so they grow the protection thing that they don't need, and you throw them in New York. You're stupid. It's all your fault, Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah, and another thing. <laughs> so, so it could be one of these things that there's teeth involved, right? If you had it your if own life? If we're still hoping for teeth, yes. It could be a twin. <laughs> if there sure. has to be a tumor, we hope that there's teeth. Yes, yes. of course. I would want to know that I'm harboring my like other dead child, like my dead twin all this time. What if I'm it's just... a Pokemon? <laughs> That's what Keith said. Keith planted a Pokemon in her. It's a, it's a virtual Pokemon, but it affects you just the same. Ten bucks. Didn't cost me a thing. Um, they also did some blood tests to rule out um, oh, yeah, more a diagnosis things. that it could be a neurological disorder. Which is not really showing. They're just that is, I believe, just them taking precautions exactly. because I'm not showing any signs of that being added to this diagnosis. So now, yes. so they're showing us every possible thing it could possibly be, which is the scariest part. Right? Do you want that? 
No. Why would I want a list of 10? Narrow right. it down. I'll see you well, Thursday. Well, they have to. They have to tell me why they're drawing more blood. They have to tell me what they're looking for. They have to tell me my options. They're trying not to say a lot. I'll tell you that. But one of the things was camping is next weekend. We go to this annual camping trip. And so I'm like, all right, doctors, this is going to seem very stupid for me to ask. But, you know, they keep postponing it. Now, I thought I'd have to be going into surgery, like, you know, the next couple of days. Now I'm waiting for an MRI. I'm just like... I just want to know the timing. How long does an MRI take? When am I going to go do it? When am I going to see the results? Because next week there's this camping trip. And they're like, listen, you're going to be doing this for a while. Go on a camping <laughs> trip if you need. And I'm like, that's not good news. Right. That's not. And then I was like, like when you say a lot, like a month, and he almost wanted to slap me. I know he did. He, want, he was like, he, right away I go like a month. And he goes, No. And I heard him stopping himself and saying, no, bitch, take this shit seriously. <laughs> I said it's bad. I'm like, okay. Most likely she'll have chemo, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. So I probably will have to start with chemo because it's so giant that they need to shrink. So if it's not touching anything or if it is touching it, let's face it, I'm going to have to go to chemo. Enjoy my hair. <laughs> Danny. Now here's what you do. Is it crazy that now I'm going to cry? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's not crazy. <laughs> she has nice hair. I really love her. <laughs> you shave your head now. Stop hair shaming me. How vain. <laughs> right. No, I, I shaved my head in uh, support. Know, she's going to lose a lot of weight, though. <laughs> Listen, I'm all for that. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what it takes. I'm probably, I'm uh, finally going to get approved by Karen. Can Whitney catch this for me? <laughs> 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 Will you just make out with her for a moment? <laughs> I'll aim it right. If, it, if, it, if there is catching, I'll aim it. But what do you think about this idea? You shave your hair now, they yeah. get it all together, they make a wig, and then it's ready for you. Ah, I make my own okay. hemda wig. The thing yeah. is, they, um, we don't know what kind of chemo treatment yet, so we don't know if she's going to be losing her hair. Oh, you don't know? get that one. Get don't. the one. Get the hair loss one? Yeah. Do get, it all the way, right? Get the one without it. Oh, without the hair loss? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I feel like there's a brochure in Keith's head he's <laughs> flipping through. And yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. But we could go wig shopping. <laughs> we could have some fun times. And we'll both be bald. Aldo and Emmy are already looking for wigs for me. Oh, They've gotten these wigs. together. Bozo oh, the Jesus. clown wigs. <laughs> no, it's Beyonce and Rihanna. No, they will be voguing wigs. Right. They will be good ones. It's Slash's hat. It's... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. See? Uh, at the Gene Wilder. <laughs> I've never felt the sun on my head. <laughs> so uh, now you're Tough. waiting for an MRI. Now I'm waiting to, they have to, cl this is so stupid, they have to clear uh, that, that the insurance will pay for the MRI. P.S. Somebody called me. Somebody called me and said, this is after, right before the show, uh, I pick up and they go, hold one moment, like a, a machine. I'm like, no, you called me. Right. And so, hi, um, who am I speaking to? They said, Right. And I'm like, no, you just called me. And they're like, well, we don't have the information. I'm like, well, I'm not giving you the information. Right. They're like, well, this is from, you know, some kind of medical thing. And I'm like, great. <laughs> you get me ready for a neurological fucking leakage from the heart of whatever the fuck. But you don't get me ready from a person who's going to say that they don't know who they're calling, but I should tell them. And this has to do with my insurance and the MRI. Right. They couldn't even say MRI. They couldn't even say which insurance. I'm like, I'll call anybody back. Goodbye. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Land, you have to call our insurance. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do, you t do you tell the hospital like uh, I'll tell you what schedule me for the MRI because insurance covers it or I just don't pay you I'm not not getting it so that's it I'm dead now no they've already <laughs> been working on it and I don't know yeah I don't know what that means all I know is they're not making me clear it so I'm good right Land how you doing good okay Land has not cried yet this is not good so after this I look in his face and I go okay you can cry now. It's not good because you know that he's holding it all day. Who's, who's not going to cry? You, Karen just cried. Let's go. <laughs> Out with it. <laughs> Too I have right. to cry. <laughs> we just, if you remember the setup, she's a flat out bitch. <laughs> and she just cried. So I'm like, uh, I'm like, you can cry now. And he's like, mm. I'm like, okay, but I already cried. First time. It's your turn. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I well, pooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's sharp, true. That's sharp true. tears. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have to set up a studio in our house. I know that much. So, yeah. that'd be fun. Get ready to come over. Yeah. 
We'll I'll see. Mix I feel your... like if I can do a show, I can come out here because it's pretty close. But we might have to have a couple shows in our house. <laughs> you guys, if I have to go to chemo and surgery, and I wake up and I'm not the most fucking popular podcast on earth, <laughs> I'm very That's disappointed really all in all about. of you. I don't understand. <laughs> I, all of a sudden, people care about 500 likes on my chemo. Babe, I'm going to tell the people at TLC. You want a reality mm-hmm. show? Yeah, oh, call and me she's fat. dating a tranny. <laughs> Listen. Dating? We're married, bitch. Oh, yeah. We're married. <laughs> See, we haven't had, so we haven't many had marriage words. for so long. Right. And I'll fucking... Tra- Look, I'm a whore. I will transition for anyone on camera. <laughs> All right? If they want to follow me through tea and the titties and the whole shebang. I'm not joking. America, <laughs> I'm selling my transition. Tell your friends, and also Hamda's cancer. I'll go. I'll go oh, on man. chemo. We'll we'll do chemo transition. Oh, oh my god, I'll the do rock it. block. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. You know what? He had to actually put his transition on hold because of this. I will tell you that. Nice job, Hamda. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Smart way to work as a team, guys. So selfish. All good. <laughs> Can't be going through puberty while the wife is going through cancer. I actually looked at him today and I was like, I'm so sorry that you just married into my health problems. Right. And he's like, the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, it's perfect time. Yeah, right. but what do they call it's it? If perfect it's perfect time. If it's pre whatever, you know what I mean? It's not fair. Right. Uh, what is a like prenuptial cancer? Well, prenuptial, but pre, um, you know, like if it's pre-existing, mm-hmm. oh. it doesn't seem right. Right. So even you should care about this. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem right. So Karen's going to talk to TLC and then throw an and if he needs somebody that's disgusted by cancer and transgender. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Keith, is that you? <laughs> I think Karen's going to take that. Loves movies. I'm I'm disgusted by both of those things too. And and their co-host uh, loves horrible movies. <laughs> so and he could do that like a lot, yeah. like a whole mind. lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how long when it's gonna start, but I'm gonna have to be out for a little while. And let me tell you something. You and Danny are not getting a vacation, so you could forget it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have like Keith and a girl, Keith and the girl's brother, Keith and Dang. Keith and the girly yeah. guy, yeah. Keith, yeah. <laughs> Keith and the girly guy. Look at everybody taking my spot. Keith I and know. Danny, Keith and the Jumping sure. In. Just trying to help. Girl. You're Just like you're like Kelly Ripa now. She mm. always has a new co-host mm-hmm. every week. Well, I'm whatever. getting. I realize why she gets angry. <laughs> And has a short temper. That's crazy news. All right, let me mention this. Vistaprint, 500 business cards for $9.99. Let's say you have cancer, and you're sick of telling people what the diagnosis is. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, you could tell 500 people for less than $10. And let's face it, I don't know how to spell my diagnosis. I will only have to spell it once on vistaprint.com. You can do pictures, right. obviously. Oh, my God, I have the best pictures. I put my... Uh, X ray on that. We got to get a picture of that because we got to post it. It is horrifying. Mm-hmm. Just print keithandthegirl.com and give it to everyone you can on yeah. these if you want to give him a real gift on this Vista print thing. And that's like three gifts in one. That's like a, that's like a fucking layered meta him to gift. That or marijuana. Here's Continue. what you do. No, that too. It's only $10, right? Right. So you get a card and it has like a, just, just a line. And then on the left side it says, not too much cancer. And then on the right, it says too much cancer. <laughs> and then wherever she's at on the scale, right now it sounds like the middle. These fucking geniuses, you happen to be right in the middle. Uh, th- then she'll put a line, me, and then pass those out. And then when there's new news two weeks from now, buy another 500 cards. They're so cheap. That's really good. Actually, I could use those 500 until I run out because I'll just write me wherever I am. Yeah. 200 cards in, I'm doing better. I write me a little closer to the right. Right. And then you slide oh. back a little bit, and then you go up. It'll be fun. I'm in. And then, how do I do this for like a million dollars? How do I do ten dollars for five hundred? And then I have nine ninety nine. Is that okay? If you're her friend, collect them and make a flip book and give it back later. (laughs) Five hundred custom business cards for nine ninety nine. You don't need to have cancer. Visit vistaprint.com. Design your custom business cards. Enter code K A T G at checkout. That's code K A T G. It's a chance to get that professional look on any budget. Do not wait. Go to vistaprint.com and order today. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, real. That was hilarious, you guys. <laughs> Karen is so funny. <laughs> I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> How do you get Karen to shut up? Oh, seriously. You get cancer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then she'll be like, "Oh, I was just kidding." Uh, I was really kidding. 
I'm so glad you're skinny. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, turns out Donald Trump is using. You, you can't wait five seconds. I really thought that I got the signal, <laughs> and then I realized I didn't. So you I see it my down. face? Hey! <laughs> well, one guess what Hennessy's doing. One guess. <laughs> <laughs> my wife has cancer. I start smoking. Weed. <laughs> Where does that go on the Vista print? <laughs> Go ahead. Your wife has cancer. Light up. All right. Okay, we'll wait a minute. Cancer card. All right. <laughs> cancer card. I know someone with cancer. <laughs> Can you pick that up for me? I know someone with cancer. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't I'm use my line. It. I'm using <laughs> yeah, it. Cancer lives matter. For now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. My wife has cancer. For now. <laughs> Karen just realized that the possibilities are endless. Where's <laughs> <laughs> <have> it go? <laughs> <laughs> God. Donald oh, Trump has yeah. used $55,000 of campaign donations to buy his own book. Oh. That is so oh, clever. Never no. mind. Oh, uh, never mind quite illegal, but it's very clever. What, what if let's do your heart looks like Donald Trump? <laughs> that would be great. Is that how we destroy him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm in. I will put That's my health up idea. for that. Yeah. Uh, so we if have I have to stab you in your tumor. If I kill this tumor, <laughs> he'll die. Yeah. Worth it. Yes. Worth it. So now his yeah. his recent book it goes higher in the charts is the plan. Uh-huh. And why didn't everybody think about this? And he gets the money back. So he goes to Barnes and Nobles, literally, a brick and mortar store. He went himself? Buys, no, I don't think he went himself, oh. but they bought fifty five thousand dollars worth saying, you know, as giveaways, we uh, give these away. But he, they didn't go to the publisher. Right. They went to an actual store because that's the only place sales count necessarily. Right. Just at one store? Yeah. But you don't you don't get your money back. Like if if he's going through a publisher, you know what we made on it. Like you get a dollar a book. Mm. It's still some. Yeah. Well, he's not getting fifty five thousand dollars back, but he is getting higher in the chart, and that's how you make money anyway. And he's got fifty five thousand dollars because he's using it from his campaign money. Why it's doesn't even he his. take a campaign manager in every state to go buy twenty at each Barnes and Noble mm. or big bookstore? That's store. still we're talking about fifty five thousand dollars. I mean, one and store Trump. Come on. So that's 3,500 copies of a hardcover or 5,000 copies of his uh, the new release uh, as a soft cover. The book is called Crippled America, How to Make America Great Again. Ah. The paperback version of the exact same book is called Great Again, How to Fix Our Crippled America. He's like, that is much better. I should have went with that the first time. Do you think that that book answers or comes close to answering that question? Oh, like God. how to make America great again? The forwards yeah, by George W. Bush. Oh my mm. God! So what is it? In Braille? <laughs> what is it? In just like a picture? <laughs> he just finger paint. <laughs> <laughs> Red, white, blue. <laughs> Go get him. <laughs> he, he just draws like traces over his finger with a gun. Like every book is a different book, and he just put <laughs> yeah. a new cover on it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> Good night, Moon. Yeah, it's okay. They're reading. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like he'll he'll have money in like a gas company. So the when in time he has to take a private jet, this kind of thing. Uh, the money goes back to him. The right. campaign money you gave him goes back. He, he'll only eat at his restaurants, you know? Mm-hmm. And the waiter tries to give free things because it's Donald Trump. And he's like, no favors. <laughs> you charge me for everything. I don't want to hear it's on me. In fact, uh, I'll take 20 steaks to go and you guys enjoy mm-hmm. it. But I, want, I demand them charge full price. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Does this really happen? Yeah. Oh, my God. This guy's crazy. <laughs> Who is this Trump person? <laughs> you gotta look into him. I gotta oh. Google him. <laughs> I'm gonna end the show with this because uh, I don't. This is some time ago, but I we didn't get to talk about it. And it's a little shocking if you haven't heard it. It's the Ghost Raider for Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal, hmm. probably his biggest book. The one I mean, he he walks around with it like it's the Bible nowadays. The Ghost Raider regrets writing that book because it makes Donald Trump look so good. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, Oh, that's so heartbreaking because you did a really good job and then you find out the monster. And you know what? It's not his fault. Work is work and a writer has a tough job finding a job. Well, he says, he says, I I didn't feel bad. It's a stupid book. I I wrote every word of it, Mm. uh, you know, and it is what it is. Now I see I might have something to do with him being president of the United States. It sickens me and I have to come out and say it. Wow. Good for him, though. I wonder if he has a, what is it called? NDNA? and. NDA, yeah. MDMA, you're thinking. I'll tell you what, this weed, it really is gateway. That's what we're smoking. I said I'm going camping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me mention this. Green Out, speaking of weed. Green Out is a comedy show here in New York City, but a comedy show with a twist. Let me explain. An Go hour on. before the show, the comedians are dosed with some questionable brownies. They're stale. 
Yeah. Andrea Allen and Emily Lubin take them and you on a sensational comedy journey. So what they're going to do is they're going to give people pop brownies. Weak. These comedians are going <laughs> to eat them. And uh, then uh, they're going to be high as fuck. And then the ladies are going to start dropping balloons. <laughs> oh, they're going to be messing with them? Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that is funny. You know who I heard is on the lineup. Okay. Yeah. Somebody messing with their glasses, then I could hear it Sorry. on a show. Oh, we got to get one of those little uh, fidget toys. Yeah, yeah, she's got to stop fidgeting. I'm usually not a fidgeter. What if we give people jacks? <laughs> what if you stop rolling weed and you just sit there and talk to people? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. I like playing dominoes uh. with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Karen Feehan is on the lineup, and who's hosting? Yeah. The great Danny Hatch. The great the Danny great. Hatch. And where is this place? They don't have a place yet, but they love the idea. It's at Footlight. It's Laura Bridget Regan's new bar performance space. It's Saturday, September 3rd at 11.45 p.m. Mm. The witching hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So check it all he right He actually there. goes by Danny Hatch great again, <laughs> <laughs> by the way. All right, Hennessy. You're you, welcome. <laughs> Hennessy, you have a website, right? Facebook.com. Yeah. <laughs> check it out. Yeah, check it out. He goes by Hennessy, what is it now? Hennessy Land, right? Because I call you Land. On Facebook, yeah. they don't let you have one name. Huh? On Facebook, they don't let you have one name, which is Hennessy. Okay. So he goes by Hennessy Land. So Land find is me, the name friend that me, I say what's up. I might never see it, but me. if I do, I'll say what's up back. <laughs> also, Twitter, Lauren Hennessy. Instagram, L O R E N Hennessy. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me on. Karen Feehan, the Twitter account is K Freehams. <laughs> I picked that to trick fat people into following me, and it's working. I was debating between K free Twinkies, <laughs> but I went with hams. KarenFeehan.com, K E R R Y N, freehand, Feehan, excuse me. Fee-han. I'm so confused now. I'm so good at marketing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know you, and I don't know your name. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, thank you very much. Follow us. We're at KeithandTheGirl.com. We're also at Keith and the Girl on all, if not. Uh, most social medias. I'm at Chemda. He's at Keith Malley. Also, you hear a couple of ad sponsors for the show. If you miss them and you do want to support the show through our supporters by getting something that you would get anyway, keithandthegirl.com slash coupons. So that'll get you the Vista print. You'll know that the code is KTG. Uh, berries.com that you've heard, Blue Apron, all of that stuff, keithandthegirl.com slash coupons. And we mentioned earlier in the show, keithandthegirl.com slash VIP. I don't know when a better time to check it out. If you if you haven't had a subscription in a while, check it out again. If you've never tried it, It's please, VIP renaissance. Please try it now. Yeah, we like upgraded and made it incredible because we're hoping that you sign up to it. And a portion of all members... Your payment goes to an MRI. Mm-hmm. How exciting, uh, right? Deductibles. <laughs> oh, I also have a podcast called Kill Me Now with Judy Gold. 